Good morning. It is Wednesday, July 24th, and today is the memorial of St. Charbel Maclouf. This is Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio and the Ave Maria Radio app. I'm Matthew Handley. Coming up, I spoke to Dr. Marcus Peter about Kamala Harris's chances in Michigan. But first, our local weather and this news. The Federal Emergency Management Agency has denied the request of Governor Gretchen Whitmer for a major disaster declaration for the May 7 tornadoes that hit Branch, Cass, Kalamazoo, and St. Joseph counties. Portage City Manager Pat McGinnis says FEMA needs to reconsider. The letter that we received references that local and state sources should be sufficient, but that's far from the truth. These people are truly suffering, and we truly don't have the resources needed to get everybody back on their feet. State Senator Sean McCann has asked Whitmer to appeal, which she can do within 30 days. The state's Democratic delegates have overwhelmingly voted to endorse Vice President Kamala Harris as the party's new nominee for president. The state delegates held a virtual meeting and four sources confirmed the result to the Detroit News. Harris appears to have secured enough delegates to win the nomination at the Democratic National Convention next month. Former Detroit Riverfront Conservancy Chief Financial Officer William Smith is complaining that his $3,421 a month allowance from a court is not enough. Smith says the allowance doesn't cover the rent of his $3,450 a month. He is charged with stealing $40 million from the Conservancy. Smith's assets of $39.3 million have been frozen as he awaits trial. A $23.4 billion education budget for fiscal year 2025 has been signed by Governor Whitmer. The budget includes free pre-K and community college tuition, along with free school meals at K-12 public schools. The education budget, however, does not include per-pupil funding increase for the first time in a decade. Whitmer signed the budget in Flint yesterday. An 80-year-old man is in critical condition after he was run over by someone on an all-terrain vehicle in Hancock while he was putting up political signs in his yard. The ATV driver was also involved in two other vehicle vandalism incidents, with all of them happening on Sunday. Police received a message on Monday from someone in Quincy Township that wanted to confess to the crime. Authorities got to the scene and found a 22-year-old man had taken his own life. Police say he was targeting Trump and law enforcement supporters. And construction at the Sioux Locks is on progress and scheduled to be complete in 2030. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers says contractors are demolishing the Sabin Lock and filling the Davis Lock chamber now to build a bridge to the new power plant. Then they will start excavating bedrock for a new, larger rock. U.S. Senator Gary Peters will visit the construction site next month. You're listening to Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio and the Ave Maria Radio app. Your weather is coming up next. Now this. A culture of life is like a bright city on a hill. Just as people in 1890 might have had difficulty imagining today's cities, so it may be today in imagining a culture of life. But it starts with more than imagination. It starts with the moral commitment to offer the highest regard to the gift of God hidden within each human life. Let's become the culture of life. In Detroit today, we'll see some scattered rain showers and thunderstorms in between those. It will be partly sunny with highs around 82. Tonight will be partly cloudy with lows around 64. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny with highs around 81. Friday will be sunny with temperatures in the lower 80s. And Saturday will be sunny with highs in the mid 80s. In Saginaw today, we'll have partly sunny skies with highs around 78. Tonight will be partly cloudy with lows around 59. The rest of the week is looking pretty nice. Tomorrow will be sunny with highs around 79, 80. Friday will be sunny with highs in the lower 80s. And Saturday will be sunny with highs in the mid 80s.
I had the opportunity to talk to Dr. Marcus Peter yesterday on Ave Maria in the afternoon about Kamala Harris prospects in Michigan as the new Democratic nominee. Uh, and it seems clear that there's a sentiment that uh, it's precisely Kamala, Kamala Harris that uh, will be able to unite the presently divided Democratic Party, especially since the, for want of a better term, the, the catastrophe that was the presidential debate where President Joe Biden didn't fare so well. You have the debate, and then also here in Michigan, you have the Israel issue, too. Uh, mm -hmm. Back after the October 7th attack last year, uh, Biden was heavily criticized by the Muslim communities here in, in the state, particularly in Dearborn and the Detroit area. And Harris may be able to overcome that issue. You know, notice this week she's not going to the uh, address by Prime Minister Netanyahu in, in Congress, um, which is interesting as her her role is to be president of the Senate. She's not participating mm -hmm. in that. Um right. That may give give her a leg up by by being more progressive than Biden is on Israel. But you're right. After the debate as well, uh, she has an opportunity, especially if there's going to be another debate. And that's that's still up in the air right now. Um, she has the opportunity to show that she's not the old candidate, um, but she's got to overcome that issue that she is part of this administration. She has the baggage of right. Joe Biden um, and she's going to have to answer for that. Uh, the notably. Also, the United Auto Workers have not yet endorsed her. They probably right. will. Uh, Mike Duggan was on MSNBC yesterday saying that they have a process for endorsements. Mm -hmm. uh, but the the UAW has, it, to my knowledge, has not yet endorsed her yet either. But yeah, it, it seems to be across the board. She's got some enthusiasm. As you know, I have not been happy with the fact that it was a Trump-Biden rematch. I am, know I am not alone in this country. Mm -hmm. And now... The Democrats are giving people that third option that they may have wanted, which is it's not going to be Biden. You now have someone other than Biden and Trump. Um, but can she overcome the baggage of, of the things in the in the Biden administration? Can she overcome her own baggage and her own failures as, as vice president, uh, as well as the fact she ran an awful presidential campaign the last go around? Mm -hmm. That remains to be seen. Ave Maria in the afternoon is weekdays at 4 p.m. on Ave Maria Radio. The Imitation of Christ says, once you have entered completely into the depths of Jesus and have a taste of his powerful love, then you will not care about your own convenience or inconvenience. I'm Matthew Handley. That does it for this edition of Michigan Mornings on a Wednesday. You can stay connected with me on X. I'm at Radio Handley, and Lord willing, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Until then, goodbye.